Hello, this is Mr. Beck. This is part five in our series, uh, Working with the Blender. We're creating a monster head that uh, has dynamic hair. We've animated the camera so that it moves 90 degrees. Uh, that happened in the last video. So if I hit Alt-A, you can see my camera moves uh, 90 degrees while the head uh, sort of moves back and forth and you can see the hair is dynamic. We've added stiffness so we don't get any collision. Um, everything is working the way it should at this point. So what we're going to do is we're going to make the camera go all the way around. Um, you could manually create your keyframes. Okay, that's one option. But uh, we'll go into the, uh, the, the curve editor to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select layer two by itself. Okay. And uh, let's see, I'll zoom in. I'll hit the period on the number pad to zoom in on my empty because that's the object that's actually moving, right? So I'll go to the uh, graph editor and you can see here that uh, this is just a representation of that 90 degree move, okay? So I'm going to make sure that everything is selected by hitting A and you can see that my dots are orange. And um, I'll hit shift E and I'll go ahead and I'll choose linear extrapolation. All right, and you'll see that the line will continue off in either direction. All right, um, so now if I, that was shift E. So if I go back to 3D view, okay, and uh, let's just watch the camera move. If I hit Alt A, you can see it continues to move in an entire circle. All right, um, so that's pretty much what we're shooting for. Uh, if I hold down, and I hit zero to look through the camera. I held down shift and I select both layers. And then I look through the camera by using zero on the number pad. We can kind of watch this animation as uh, it goes all the way around our model. Okay, so you should have something that looks like that. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and uh, we'll just add a quick background uh, to the model. Okay, so um, up here at the very top right, you've got your world buttons here. Okay. And uh, right now you can see the horizon color and you've got all kinds of settings. So I'll set the horizon color on mine to black. Okay. And uh, down at the bottom, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to check stars. All right. That'll give us a little bit of extra. And you've got some, um, you, can ch uh, you can change the type of stars and you can do all kinds of things there. Okay, uh, so just a real simple way to change the world background. And if I, you can see even the stars appear in the preview here. If I choose render image, all right, you can see that I've got my model set up uh, with stars in the background. Okay, so uh, that's all, all there is to it in part five. We just want to make the camera go all the way around in a circle. And we want to make sure that uh, we've got our background set with uh, stars. You know, you can, if you want to, instead of just having a black background, you can check blend sky. Okay. And uh, you can change the color uh, to something different. And you can create like a gradient in the background that looks a little nicer. You can just go ahead and play with some of those settings. It's uh, uh, pretty, pretty interesting to see what you can come up with. So that's it for part five. Thank you for watching.